first major issue that I would wish to identify at this point in time is an issue pertaining to the incinerator. The incinerator at the hospital is one that is considered to be a first generation incinerator. It is a very aged piece of equipment um, and currently it is on its last legs. Uh, reports coming to us is that the incinerator has some serious structural issues. Um, in addition to the fact that the company that previously um, made the incinerator no longer exists. So there's no one to come in to make parts for the incinerator anymore. There's no one to come in to service the incinerator anymore. And it is a situation, a very, very severe and dire situation that we've been discussing for over 10 years, um, the replacement of the incinerator. The hospital agreed in principle with replacing the piece of equipment, but to date, we have not been able to get them to make any forward movement in that direction. They're stating that they're waiting on the EIB, the European International Bank for funding, but it is at a stage where if we do not make a serious move in replacing this incinerator, it can cause serious harm to not only the staff that have to go in and service this piece of equipment, but it can cause a, a ripple impact for the well-being of the entire health sector and the country as a whole. The incinerator is a very, very important piece of equipment. It literally incinerates all the medical waste. Medical waste is something that you cannot take off property to be incinerated. It's something that has to be incinerated here at the hospital and it is about to shut down. Um, it was... It was additionally drawn to our attention that the incinerator now has some holes in it that is posing a threat for the structural integrity of it. And we are concerned that our staff who go into the incinerator to do any mechanical servicing, that it can fall in on them and cause serious injury or even death. We are very, very concerned about that. And we need the management of the hospital to take us seriously because we were at the table discussing this for several years. In addition to that, there's an issue with rodents. Rodents um, in the vicinity of the workshop, the kitchen, the sewing room, the physiotherapy department, rodents running rampant in those areas. This is a hospital and we're concerned that this issue can escalate and become worse and is also posing a serious health threat for not only the staff here at the QEH, but for the persons who occupy here as um, individuals who come into the hospital to be serviced. That is a concern of ours. Um, the third issue that is also pressing is an issue pertaining to a restruct the restructuring of the engineering department. The hospital has recognized that the department requires restructuring, but to date, we believe that the management of the hospital has been dragging its foot and is not taken as seriously uh, as it re relates to that. So that is another thing that we need to get sorted out. And then there is the, the issue of procurement. Now, this one is, is also very important. Simple things like nuts and bolts and screws and and, and, and nails. The department is currently not being able to get from procurement. This is causing an impact on how the staff of this department can function, fully function, and it is causing a serious issue for the staff. So we are asking that these matters be considered and that we have some serious attention drawn to these issues here today. So that is why you see the guys are out uh, in their numbers today protesting these issues. And there are several other issues as well, but these are the ones that are the urgent ones that we, we will wish to speak on at this point in time. Right. So what, what's next right. after this protest? All right, so you can anticipate that if no serious advancement is made on these matters, Workers will continue to press demand or escalate their actions to ensure that these pressing issues get urgent attention. As I said, they go back to several years. And we would hope that 
especially if we incinerated with the biomedical, that there's not a total collapse where it could compromise the whole healthcare system and that urgent attention is given. So all we are saying, make some serious movement on these matters, fail and such, the workers will take whatever action deemed necessary to press for the press demand to ensure that these matters are addressed in a satisfactory manner.